Welcome to this QuickBooks 2018 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to show you how to enter an invoice in QuickBooks 2018. Now, uh, there's a couple different ways to record sales in QuickBooks, and invoices are just one of those ways, okay? Uh, you could do sales receipts, you could have a retail shop with daily sales summary, you got to enter them that way. So an invoice is just one way. Now, generally an invoice is going to be sent when you provide a service and um, or a product and you let your customers pay later. Okay, so they're not, it's not like a point of sale or a retail shop where somebody comes in and just buys something and pays you right then. This is when they're going to pay you at a later date. Okay. So what we want to do here is we're going to click on invoices. Okay. And you've got two options, invoice for time and expenses. So if you bill time or if your company bills time and expenses to customers, then you're going to use this. And this is if you track your time in QuickBooks and if you track your expenses that get applied to customers in QuickBooks. Okay. So for this example, we're just going to go create an invoice. Okay. So let's go ahead. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose a customer. Okay. So let's say it's remodel kitchen for this customer. All right. If there was time and expenses in this, it should pop up and say, Hey, you have time and expenses in this job. Do you want to invoice these? So in this case, in this example, we are not going to do that. All right. So now if you do class tracking in QuickBooks, uh, we're going to choose the appropriate class. And what we're going to do is come down here and you're going to choose your items. Okay. Items are what you set up. Uh, in QuickBooks for service, inventory, non-inventory, etc., that you're going to invoice to your customers. Okay. So we're going to say this is a service. Okay. Heating and air conditioning duct work. Uh, we're going to say that we bill this by the hour. Let's say this. So the quantity is five and the rate is $45 an hour. Okay. Now, a couple things on the invoice. You'll notice that uh, the customer information all uh, should populate here when you have the customer set up in QuickBooks. And it's also got a tax line down here. Okay, this is for sales tax. Now, in general, sales tax does not apply to service items. But again, this all depends on where you live, what state, even what locality that you live in will depend on the sales tax. Okay, so it's important to make sure that when you set up the items, you specify if they have sales tax or not, and that you set up your sales tax items as well so that it can apply to the sale. Okay. Now, if for some reason you have to change this, you can click this drop down and say taxable sales and choose the appropriate jurisdiction. Let's say it is uh, San Tomas, 7.75%. It's going to calculate that for you. All right. So we're going to treat this as non-taxable. All right. So there you go. We've created this invoice. It's $225. And if you're done with this one, uh, you can save and close. And you do have a couple of options. You can print this later. You can email it later. You can email it right now. Okay. You can print it right now. You've got a number of options of what you want to do. All right. So that's basically it on creating an invoice. You're going to, let's say, save and close. Okay. And now this invoice is out there. So now you've got to get it to your customer. Again, you can email it or print it and you're good to go. Uh, for full QuickBooks training, head on over to QuickBooks University. We also have a couple of uh, fantastic free videos over there uh, that are going to point out some uh, common errors that a lot of people make in QuickBooks uh, so that you get up and running on the right foot. Head on over there now, qbuniversity.org.